Evans with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Fallen officer, a Providence police officer is killed in a car crash in the line of duty. Tonight, we're hearing from his family for the very first time. This is the patch department members will wear in member, memory of Sergeant Maxwell Dorley, a father, husband, and friend who died yesterday on his way to a call. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live in Providence. Susan, we're here on Admiral Street at a makeshift memorial to the ninth Providence police officer ever to die in the line of duty. We we'll keep on asking ourselves, why, 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 why? Who knows when death is coming to our door? Nobody knows. For 42-year-old Providence Police Sergeant Maxwell Dorley, death came to his door mid-morning yesterday. You know, he loved to be around people. He loved to help people. Yeah. Very compassionate, always willing to, to help. The veteran police officer lost control of his cruiser on his way to help a fellow officer dealing with a domestic disturbance. Maxwell has a, a tough exterior. You know, when you see him, he looks kind of serious, like a yeah, tough yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. But he's a teddy bear inside. That's exactly what I said this morning. And I said he's so caring, he's so loving, and he's just a genuine spirit. Why does that happen? How did the good die young? Why? Why? I ask myself. Maybe it's God's call. You know, He wants to take the good people. So they are angels of God. You know, uh, it's a question. It's something we ask ourselves. Why do the good people always go early? Maxwell Dorley's death is the latest reminder that there's no such thing as a routine police call. Live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.